Hey gals and guys, this is War Turtle here, and I'm here telling you how to create custom loot groups for use with Lexi Skyrim Modding Guide. Now, at this point in the stage, your mod organizer should look something like this. Um, and what we are going to do is uh, we're going to run loot. So I'm going to left click on the executable bar and choose loot. Now, Hopefully you followed the installation instructions and run it once outside of Mod Organizer 2 to make sure that the master list updates correctly. I'm not going to go through that. Um, but once you load, uh, it should look something like this. Um, you'll see that it says here Skyrim Special Edition, that's what you want. If it shows a different game, you need to change it to be the correct one. Now, if you switch over to the website, you can see that on the prerequisite page, instructions for what we are going to do. And we are going to create these loot groups here. When you're doing the guide sometime in the future, the details of the text may have changed. So follow the text. I'm just showing you the process. Don't do exactly as I do if the text uh, is different. Always follow the text first. So if we go back to loot, um, you can see up here under game, we're going to choose edit groups. And by the time you get to go through and do this, hopefully loot will have updated to add maximize, minimize buttons. Um, hopefully that'll happen soon, but it currently isn't. Um, and you can see these are the loot groups that come with the master list. Now, we're going to add our own custom ones, and I'm going to start typing them in down here under group name. First is Trivial Smelters of Skyrim, and then I can hit enter to add a new group. You can see it appears up here at the top, and I can dr move it by left-clicking it and pulling down, as long as I do it on it. And you can see I can scroll up and down by grabbing the background. And I'm going to pull it down to here, Cell Settings. To connect these, I'm going to double-click Cell Settings with the left mouse button and hold the mouse button at the end of the second click. And then I can drag a line that will connect to Trivial Smelters of Skyrim. You know you connected it correctly because it turns green. Let's say that you drew the line incorrectly. You can right-click to delete it. But I did it correctly, so I'm going to connect it there. Now I'm going to add the rest of my, line, of my loot groups. MLU patches. C-Core patches. CACO patches. Snazzy patches. Merge patches. They're all going to appear up here at the top, and that's fine because um, we're just going to connect them up here for speed's sake. I'm then going to connect Trivial Smelters of Skyrim to the MLU patches, and I'm going to connect this one to close the branch to lighting enhancers. And you can see the green dot goes away when I do that. That's what you want. Now, you may look at that and say that's really ugly. Um, that's fine. When you click Save and open up the Groups Editor again, it will reorganize them for you. So I'm not going to do that right now because then I'll have to resize the window. Um, and that's it. That's how you add loot groups. Uh, to help with the guide. Um, I'm going to go through and add the rest, uh, and you can kind of watch me as I do it. Um, first, there will be village mods. That one goes here between alternate start and follower frameworks. And then the last ones are NPC retextures. Retextures. Consistency patches. 
conflict resolution. So again, these all connect and we connect Khajiit speak to NPC retextures and conflict resolution to leveled list modifiers. So now I'm going to save this and if I open it again you can see that it has organized it for me into a more readable fashion. Um, and that's it. You're done. Um, now you can go on with installing the rest of the guide. These will be used on the finishing line to help sort the plugins that the guide uses to the correct order. Hopefully this helps. Uh, come over to the Discord uh, if you continue to have questions. We are always there to help.